had seven pro MMA bouts, one in pro boxing, and Gloss was a member of the Cuba's national team in wrestling. That's what we talked about. Utilize that wrestling, utilize that clinch. He feels like he's a bigger, stronger, faster guy here, and that's where the clinch is going to come into play. He can go in there, push his opponent around, wait for his time to throw the punches, but be physical out there. Moss told us, I believe I can dominate Roberto Armas in the clinch. I'm going to be very heavy on his head, very heavy on his neck. Straight punches from my, the wide stance of Roberto Armas. I feel that he'll be aggressive with his jabs. I have to be aggressive coming forward, working the clinch, always being physical. Blas feels like he has great cardio, has that wrestling nature, so he wants to turn up the pressure as that fight goes on. Once again, Jeff Houston. Fight fans of Hollywood, we are set for the next fight of the night, scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the bantamweight division, presented to you by Inkaholic Miami. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, tonight he wears black. He stands five feet, four inches tall. His official weight, at even 135 pounds. His BKFC record stands at one victory opposite a single defeat. Fighting out of Charleston, South Carolina, by way of San Benito, Texas. Here is Roberto El Gallo Negro Armas. And across the ring, his opponent, Fighting out of the blue corner, tonight he wears black. He stands five feet seven inches tall, his official weight at even 136 pounds. He holds an undefeated BKFC record at 1-0. Fighting out of Montanzas, Cuba. Here is Alberto El Indio Blas. And our referee in charge of the action, Kerry Hatley. Roberto Armas said, I really respect the glitch of Alberto Blas. I know he's a world-class caliber wrestler. He's going to look to the rush to the inside. I have to move. I have to hit my ankles. Very happy. Both fighters up to scratch. Round number one. Black trucks, as you see, for both fighters. And wraps for the Cuban Alberto Blas. Another jab from Roberto Armas on the level change reset. Methodical lockdown pressure for Blas. Southpaw stance. Disappointment for Roberto Armas. And Alberto Blas in a steamroller-like performance. Blas better shots, Chris, with that right hand. Blas did a great job. I thought he would rush in there and try to get to the clinch. He didn't. He waited for the right time, but then when he got in, he said, okay, this is my time right now. And just look at this. Right hands, left hands, did a great job of holding that half tie plum. And look at these body shots right here. Now, not all these were landed, but look at those body shots. Oh, kill, and you're not just sit there and not answer. That's what they throw. Throw. and punches. You want to be broke? You have to throw some of them off the Let's go! And that's what our boss did not do. The referee said, okay, I've seen it. They're ready for the title. This guy's just at another level. Backflip celebration with emphasis. You want to scratch on him? Let's make it happen for the next time of the point. Here, here, now. 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 we talked about out there. He feels like he's bigger, stronger, and faster than other fighters in this weight class. He's got a great wrestling background. He wants to mix in that clean box. And his boxing looks better this time, in my opinion. And he punches from the outside. But when you can mix that good outside fighting in with that clinch, nobody's really going to handle his clinch on the inside. If he needs to get better and work on the outside, I think he's going to be a problem for everybody. The celebration of a 
Concepcion, the main trainer of Alberto Blas, Eduardo Concepcion. Number two, second fastest knockout of BKFC history. Two years ago this year, in this very building versus Gabe Brown in five seconds. Not a five hey, oh second wait, knockout, but still. No, 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 first round TKO yeah. with that position yes, for Alberto Blas. Yes, we let's go. Hello, hello, 135. I'm Ladies and gentlemen, yes, our sir. referee in charge, Kerry Hatley, steps in and calls a stop to the fight at 47 seconds into round number one. For your winner by TKO and still undefeated, Alberto El Indio Blas. And shown with the ever improving outside game. Blas, I mean, just that great inside game. He's going to be a, a problem for everybody in this weight class. Again, Roberto Armas is a really talented fighter, but no answers to that half tie plot from the inside of Alberto Bloss. One-way traffic with those right hooks and right uppercuts to the body, to the finish, to the celebration. Victorious by way of first round TKO, Alberto Blas defeats Roberto Armas.